What I saw in Libya is what I would describe as the um, incarnation of, of human cruelty at its extreme. I was deeply shocked and I remain really shocked. MSF has been working in what we call detention center in Libya for the last year. People, for the sole crime of wanting a better life, are piled up, park in dark room with no ventilation, 30 centimeters square, unable to even stretch their legs for days, starve to illness. And then people looking at me with despair in their eyes and just whispering, get me out of here. I've heard stories that will haunt me for days, if not years. Stories of a pregnant woman who was forced to stand in the middle of the backyard on one foot under the sun until she felt of exhaustion. And that very same woman to me, she said, but my story is not the worst. There was a man who was hanged with his hand up, beaten publicly, and then afterwards they reached for his wife who was pregnant and they raped her in a different room. And then she looked at me and she said, they don't even respect pregnant women. Torture, abuse, humiliation, public punishment. We read them and it just move on. Going to Libya for me put stories and picture behind those words. And knowing what we know, that we keep to build and create policies that are trapping individual in this kind of nightmarish environment. Every nation, every government that is facilitating to send back people in Libya or to keep them contained in Libya is complicit to massive, massive abuses on human beings. That's all I can say.